So I've been working out at the Talisman since 2003. What brought me to Talisman Center was it's uh, close to where I live and also the uh, fitness classes that they do offer were scheduled around my work so I could come for a 6 a.m. workout, which was great, and get that done first thing in the morning. I use fitness, basically weight control and just general health. I mean, I'm 57 years old and uh, I'm going to stay healthy and uh, I used to have diet, try dieting all the time and it was tough and then I decided to start working out and uh, it's almost addictive. If you miss your workout, you, you miss it. Well, I was actually here on the Thursday, the, I think it was June 20th at about 3.34 in the afternoon, I just started my workout, I was downstairs and the staff came in and said we're evacuating. I said, what? I looked at the river and I said, it's not that bad. Of course, with the floods, um, it was a big inconvenience because I couldn't come and do my workouts inside. I would have to do them outside, which is okay, because running, you can run outside. But what happened there was I would run along the Elbow River. And so with the floods, hey, what happened? There goes the pedestrian bridge. There goes this trail. Oh, I can't go that. So when I needed to do a 35K run, I was like, now what? In June, our entire mechanical system and electrical system was flooded out. That resulted in loss of power and air circulation and essentially shut the facility down. Over the last seven months, we've worked to rebuild the facility. From a capital perspective, the equipment replacement in the basement, mechanical and electrical, is expected to be in the neighborhood of six to $10 million. But in addition to that, we had roughly a $1 million hit and growing on the annual operations. We got to a point where we could return everybody to the facility, but we're still under construction. This is a construction project and will remain so for probably the next six to seven months. The majority of that work is not visible. It's going on in the basement mechanical area, and it consists of replacement of mechanical and electrical equipment and ducting that services the facility. We invited our members and our stakeholders to sit down with us to hear about the impacts of the flood and where we're at today. What we really want to emphasize is the work going on to better this environment for daily users. There are daily um, occurrences that we have to deal with. Well, maybe small in nature, this still is a construction zone. And so from one day to the next, we might find that the water temperature fluctuates or that lights in a certain area blink. They're minor, and I hope people understand that we are still a construction zone, and we're seeing that. They're accommodating, and they're very communicative in terms of what's going to be worked on, and when, so that you can have minimal impact on your workouts. I've been here since 1990. It's a great facility, and uh, hopefully they can be open for many more years and uh, keep, keep coming new members coming down and uh, enjoying this place.